viewers, this is the DBBR103, the original ICE Intercity Express locomotive. It's extremely powerful and extremely fast, and you need to drive it with just a little bit of gentleness. Alright, let's jump in and learn how to run this thing. So we'll climb up inside, get the inner door open. I'm going to leave them open for the moment, you'll see why shortly. Jump into the driver's seat because I want to take possession of the train. So on the central button to get the reversing handle in over here. And we'll put our reverser in forward. We'll open the doors and get our passengers moving. And then we want to turn on the brake key over here. Now I want to turn on safety systems in this train. And I look over here, the big panel's not there. Which means I have to go down to the other end. So let's climb down. and open the door and climb up and we'll open this one up and we'll come to this panel here so I want to turn on Sefer which is the yappy barky little dog that makes sure you're awake and if I wanted to turn on PZB it's this one I'm not going to for the purposes of this demonstration and LZB if the route supported it this route doesn't but if you run this locomotive off the rails on another route or it layers in somewhere you'll be able to turn on LZB and use it now, let me show you why you have to go down the outside of the train. Invisible wall, hit and miss. That's okay. All right, that's all we need to do in that cab. The rest of it is set up by default properly. So let's just get this door closed, because it's time to close our doors and get out of here, but we haven't finished setting up yet. So let's climb up, swing around here, close the door. Now. Just checking our brake mode here, we're on R, which is fine for a passenger train, but if you're driving freight, you might need to be on P or G, depending on your PZB rules. You can cut the traction bogies out if you want to, but I don't think the game does anything with that, it's just a placebo switch. Alright, next up I want to check my lights, so I've got my signal lights on on both sides, and my tail lights are off on both sides, so that's fine at this end, and the other end is fine. Now we can turn on our instrument and reading lights. If you want the cab light, you can turn it on here. We'll turn it off. Uh, nothing else to do up there. So let's show you some things here. I've sat in the wrong seat. The handbrake is off, so that's fine. Maybe we should get up and get in the correct seat. Oops. Uh, emergency brake dandle down here. Hmm, basically, don't. We've got our door switch here, so we can use that to open and close the doors, but I just use my keyboard shortcuts. We've got the direct brake, which acts only on the locomotive here, a dynamic brake, and the air brake for the whole train. Now, the air brake and the dynamic brake are tied together, so if we apply the air brake, you'll see the dynamic brake also applies. But let's release that. It is time to go. You can open the window if you want to. High-speed train, I suggest you don't. It gets noisy. Blind, should you feel the need. Same with that one. There are windscreen wipers for left and right. And the little knob next to them makes them go faster or slower. Let's pop those off again. Down here we've got our usual LZB, PZB buttons. We're not going to need those because I didn't turn PZB on. This is your C for acknowledge. Now C for pressing from the keyboard is a long press. If you need to touch the pantograph, you can pantograph up and down here. Main circuit breaker, if you blow it, you uh, just flick it up to close it again. That's all you need to do. And the transformer switch, this is where your power comes from, but we'll do that later on. Now, the other switches on that side are fine, but over here, we don't want the desk light, but we do want our master and instrument lights on. That turns on your outside lights and your inside lights. Signal lights are normal, that's fine. Leave your auxiliary control in trail. I'm not 100% sure that's right. I kind of think it should be in auto, but it only works if it's in trail. So leave that. And this, of course, is the steering wheel for going around corners. Well, not really. It's the tap changer. Contact signaler, if you need it, is down here on the telephone. So let's get out of here. It's got a bit of a clown horn, like all Germans. Now, German trains, they tend not to actually use the horn anyway. Um, brake wise just started accelerating so we'll be moving the yellow one is the train brake pipe so we're just over five bar on that 
and the red one is our brake cylinder which tells us how much the brakes are applied on our locomotive. Over here, two gauges, this one is Farin, how much power you're using to go faster, and Bremsen, how much power you're, well, generating is probably the wrong word, but generating to go slower with the dynamic brake. This is your LZB display, which won't be used on this route because it doesn't support it, and your speedometer, and of course all your other indicators. Alright, let's start powering up. Now you want to make sure that you power up gently and keep it under 50 kilonewtons, because if you get much over 50, You'll see a light come flickering on over here, which I almost did then. If that light flickers on and stays on, you'll pop the circuit breaker and then you have to close it again. Before you close the circuit breaker, you need to tap back down to zero. Now, we're accelerating like a fairly normal train at the moment. This is all good. So I'm going to tap up a bit more. Cifa has come on, so I'll just acknowledge that. Cifa is a long press, not just a tap and go. Alrighty, now we're up to about 60 kilometres an hour. My power gauge is starting to go backwards, so this is the right time to switch the transformers. And bang, we suddenly use a lot more power and we're suddenly going a lot quicker. I do believe. Did I blow the breaker? No, I didn't. I was about to. There's a little black bar appeared then, but I didn't actually do it. So I'm just tapping back up there. I only almost blew the breaker. You can see how well we're accelerating now, and we're going to go well beyond the speed limit here very, very quickly. So you can see just the power of this locomotive is quite extreme. About to pass over 100 and 140 kilometres an hour. Just ripping along. Let's see for again. Now the next thing I want to show you is the dynamic brake. We're still going downhill at this point. So I'll just tap back down to zero. And then I'll use the dynamic brake handle. You put the dynamics to the first position. Let them warm up. And then you can gradually bring them up and you'll see that they do actually start to slow you down. Now they're used for maintaining your speed. We're also starting to go uphill there now which will also slow us down but you notice over here we're in the Bremsen side so the go slow side. Let's see for the yappy dog again. All right so that's the dynamic brake. I'll just pop that off. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to reset for when CIFA stops you. So if you miss to acknowledging a CIFA and it stops the train we'll see what happens. So we'll just keep driving along for the moment. I'll just leave it tapped down to zero. So you can see the beautiful scenery along the Rhine River here. This railway is called the Left Rhine, which implies there's one over there too. All right, Cifa's firing off. I'm waiting for it to stop me. I'm going to watch our brake gauges. There it goes. Cifa has dumped the air from the train brake, fast coming down to zero, and applying the brakes really hard, so cause and effect. So if we reset CIFA, even if we haven't stopped, it'll start pumping up the train. We'll probably still stop simply because the train lost all its air. And indeed we have. Now you can see that the yellow needle is pumping up. When it gets above about 4 bar, the red needle below it will start to drop back. Now remember, we stopped. Remember the warning I gave you about the transformer switch? Turn the transformer switch off before we try and move or you'll just pop the circuit breaker. All right, we can, as the brakes come off, just take a couple of taps. You can see we're starting to use some power there. And in a moment we'll move. This will just stop you rolling back, because we are on a hill at the moment. And we don't want to go rolling backwards. Now, it will take a little while. Even though our cylinder, our brake cylinders on the locomotive are now down to zero, it'll take a little while for the train's brakes to come off as well. And they are starting to now. We're starting to pick up some speed. So let's start tapping up. Whoops, not that much. Yeah, tap gently. I'm using a rail driver to do this and it's um, a little ham-fisted. All right, we're starting to get going again now, so that's fine. Ooh, 
sitting on 50. That's pretty close. You don't want to sit on 50. Every time the power needle goes down, it's safe enough to tap up to the next one. If you need to contact the signaler at any point, it's the phone down here. If you want to reduce the uh, brightness on the tap wheel there, if it gets a bit annoying at night time for example, you can turn it down or you can turn it up if you need to. See for the yappy dog. Bark, bark. You awake boss? I tell you're awake. All right, we're getting up to 60 kilometers an hour again, so let's put the transformer switch back on. And we can keep powering up now. All right, now let's say you want to stop at a station. Obviously, our first stop's 42 kilometers an hour. 42 kilometers away, we're not going to wait for that. So you want to do a station stop. Let's just get safer out of the way. Tap back down to zero. I turn the transformer switch off so I don't forget and then I can just use my, my air brake. Now you'll notice when I apply my air brake that the dynamic brake handles come on as well. And you can see now that we are actually making some power, so we are slowing the train down that way. So we've got air brakes happening and we've got dynamic brakes happening at the same time. So it's not like the American trains where it's one or the other. Alrighty, and we can release that. And we can tap up again. So if you wanted to stop, you just maintain that brake setting and bring you to a full stop. And you can see we're starting to get going again. Alright, so the next thing I want to show you is shutting down for a change of ends. Now obviously you wouldn't do that in the middle of nowhere. We're, we're out in the boonies, but we're going to anyway. So let's just reset Sufa again bring the train to a stop there we go and that's come to a stand now so we'll hop up we will turn on our tail lights on our drivers and secondmen side and we'll turn off our headlights back down in the chair put our brake handle to the off position. There we go, that's off, so it's just before release. Don't release it, you'll roll away. Turn the brake key off. Bring your reverser back to the off position. Click the button in the middle to get the handle out. That's all we need to do in this cab now. So we'll head up to the other one, just pretending we're changing ends. You might do this if there's a cab car on the back. There isn't on this train. No, I want to climb down. There we go. So just remember we're pretending here, you wouldn't ever actually do this. And we climb up, and come into this one, open our doors again, come into this side, because we're going to be at the other end, whoops, my lights are already on, our tail lights are off, so that's fine. Jump down here, reverse it in, and to forwards, brake key, to on, master an instrument to on, maybe you want to drop your brightness a little bit again, it doesn't matter if you've got the safety systems turned on, it just remembers it, so we'd release the brakes, and we'll effectively go back the way we came, and that's all there is to it really, let's just pop out and make sure our headlights are doing the right thing, we should have, it's a bit hard to see because the sun's on, but we do actually have two red lights there, it's very hard to see in this bright sun, probably see it better as it goes into the shadows, yeah there we go, red lights, and come up this end, we should have white lights on this end, now obviously like I said, you'd never actually do this, and we do have our white lights on there, because clearly you don't want to push it back to blends now, so let's just go through that shutdown sequence again, Break the train. Put your brakes back to the off position. Brake key off. Bring your reverser back to the off position. Take it out. And that's pretty much all you need to do in this cab. And then you would head back to the other cab. Just like we did. So let's just jump down.
Yeah, I know, I left the internal door open there. So that's about it for this tutorial, actually. I was going to take you in and set it up again, but what's the point? So I've showed you all the different things. I've shown you how to start it up, how to drive, how to stop, how to do dynamic braking, how to recover from a CIFA event, turning the safety systems on, where to turn them on, um, and shown you how to shut down so that you can get out and change ends. Alrighty, that's about it for what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope it's helpful for you. Um, have a, a lot of fun with this train. I actually think it's really cool. It's quite amazing how much power it's got, really. And enjoy the amazing scenery of the left Rhine. As he says, looking at the river, which is, of course, behind these giant oil tanks. Sigh. That's okay. See you later.